Right, and we're recording. One, two, three, four. Uh, welcome to this episode number 15. And uh, as you can see, I have a camera now, so you can actually see me when I'm talking. And uh, I did a clapping thing because uh, I have an external microphone that catch the sound. So uh, this is e EVSO number 15. Um, it's going to be a bit shorter. I'm just going to show one feature that I've seen. This is the one we're looking at here, which is uh, soft shadows. Um, and uh, yeah, let's jump into that. So let's go into Blender. Uh, I'm going to turn on the debug uh, console because it's going to be kind of important to check the render times per frame. So I'm just going to position the light a, a bit more above uh, the object. So the settings is over here. I'm going to collapse everything. So by default we have um, exponential shadow map. And uh, as you can see the shadows are a bit jagged. Uh, I think if we bump this up to 1k, we get a bit more uh, less yaggy and uh, it's still kind of interactive. But if we try variance some shadow map and uh, bump this one up to 2k and turn on high bit depth, you're going to see that we have really short shadows. Uh, but one issue is that they're not really getting sharper at the contact point. Uh, and another issue is also that if you look at the render time over here, uh, if I rotate the object or move it, we're going up to 40 milliseconds per frame. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use this for like still frame renders or if I'm doing animation, I'm going to bump it up to variance shadow map. Uh, but once I'm modeling and stuff like that, I'm thinking of staying on... Um, exponential shadow map and uh, a 512 uh, pixel texture. So I'm guessing it's actually writing it on the graphic card uh, and not on the disk, hopefully, to make it a bit uh, run faster. Um, another thing that I've seen on Twitter is this from Clement. So on this image to the left we see no screen space reflection. And in the middle we see bad green space reflection in Mesa drivers and uh, to the right we see correct screen space reflection after bug fix. So Mesa drivers are these like open source uh, drivers. I haven't used them since I was on Linux and even then I tried the uh, Nouveau drivers uh, which is also like an open source NVIDIA driver. Uh, but in the end uh, what worked best for me on Linux was actually proprietary NVIDIA drivers. And now I'm on Windows and I'm running the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. But if you are on Linux, you might want to check out screen space reflections again. Because uh, um, you could see uh, way better screen space reflection updates. <clears throat> so this scene is by Daniel Biestet. And he so kindly shared it on the Blender 2.8 um, uh, future site on Blender. And you can also check out his uh, homepage on WordPress and also follow him on ArtStation. So for me, I don't really see any difference in the screen space reflection. But <clears throat> if you're on Linux and running Mesa, you should check it out. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice. And apropos of glasses, <clears throat> I got this comment from Joblem on uh, the previous episode, 14. He noticed uh, that if you have two glasses passing by each other, they occlude each other and you can see through them. And I really tried to explain that in the video, I think, with um, when I uh, looked at the glass like this and said that you're only getting the refraction from this surface, you don't see the ray trace go through um, the faces and in between this air gap and then to back on the other um, the back side of the glass so you actually see two d different kinds of refraction this one and uh, the part you could see up here um, but I really tried to explain it in the video 
And if you don't really understand what I'm talking about, you can go back to episode 14, the previous one, and uh, sh- uh, search for Job Lem. Uh, his comment, I replied to him with all the timestamps, uh, especially with the one where I had a blue glass and then a clear glass occluding it. And you can see that um, the blue glass is totally occluded. You don't, uh, you don't see it in the refraction of the clear glass. Uh, and um, I saw this uh, video from um, uh, this game engine called Lumberyard from Amazon. Where the, if, you, if you YouTube with the Lumberyard Bistro, you can have a look at it. And here you can see that they actually so, sold it somehow. So the refraction in their glass shader go through several layers of glass and doesn't, uh, doesn't occlude each other. So it probably is possible, but it's uh, probably a really tricky one to solve. And in the current implementation of uh, EBV, <coughs> we have to live with uh, the way we have it. And hopefully in the future somebody can um, uh, Maybe these guys release a paper or somebody has an idea how to solve it. That would be great. But yeah, so Joblem, sorry. Uh, we have to live with the, the problem of uh, rendering glasses and b- glass bottles and uh, several la- layer of uh, glass material. Uh, so yeah, that was that. This is going to be a really short episode. But I think it's cool that you guys can actually see me now. I'm shooting this on my Canon camera which uh, I bought second hand and I also bought a really cool lens the Carl Zeiss planar 50mm lens uh, also a second hand uh, analog camera which I just took the lens and had an adapter fitted to it so now guys you can see me I'm gonna probably make shorter episodes and I'm really gonna try to make it one every week now with uh, I'm gonna address all the small um, updates we've seen like with the sh- uh, shadow maps over here but whatever I catch on Twitter or Blender Artist, I'm going to make a video. Uh, I'm probably going to edit it more and um, I'm going to move away from the how I used to do it, where I just uh, hit screen record and showed us some stuff. Uh, and I could make like <laughs> two, three videos um, a week almost, I think I was up to. But then I was on like vacation and um, now I, um, like I'm, I have to schedule it better. So realistically it's going to be maybe one video each week and uh, uh, unfortunately my work doesn't always include blender but uh, today i'm going to do like i'm going to check out 2.79 i'm going to briefly check out the denoiser and um, the shadow catcher which i really would have wanted to have like a couple of weeks ago but uh, i'm sticking to the official releases via steam and uh, today i'm just going to model something i'm going to print out so But uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it and I'm going to upload this video, edit it really quickly and upload it. So, but yeah, until next episode 16, I really hope we got new features to check out. And uh, um, if there are any like bug fixes, I'm going to try and check them out also. So yeah, that's the video about shadow map and uh, yeah, goodbye. Happy blending.